Single Variable Calculus The study and analysis of functions of a single independent variable and single dependent variable. It studies ideas of change in motion and the accumulation of quantities. This includes concepts of the limit, the derivative, and the integral, which adds up an infinite number of infinitesimal quantities and is used in part to compute the cumulative effect of infinitesimal changes. It also includes the convergence and divergence of infinite sequences and infinite sums, as well as Taylor series. Applications of single variable calculus include modeling physical motion, optimization, supply and demand, mechanics, dynamics, and statics in engineering, differential equations, heat transfer, computer graphics, digital signal processing, and more. Multivariable calculus. The study and analysis of functions with multiple independent variables or multiple dependent variables. This extends the same concepts from single variable calculus including limits, derivatives, and integrals to multiple dimensions. Applications include higher dimensional versions of all the applications of single variable calculus, but also include the geometry of curves and surfaces, arc length, surface area, volume, fluid dynamics, multivariate optimization, partial differential equations, computer animation, and more. Hey, why can't two congruent complementary angles ever win an argument? Because they're both right. And if you like that joke, hit that subscribe button. And if you didn't, uh, hit the subscribe button anyway, because we want you to be part of the Scholar Sauce community. All right, let's get back to the video. Real analysis. This is the abstract study of concepts in calculus and includes rigorously analyzing real numbers, infinite sequences and series of real numbers, and real valued functions. This includes understanding rigorously convergence, limits, continuity, smoothness, differentiability, and integrability. Complex analysis. This is the study of the calculus of complex valued functions. This extends the basic ideas of single variable and multivariable calculus to functions on the complex plane. This includes extending the study of differentiable functions to holomorphic functions. It also provides a description of logarithms, exponential functions, and trigonometric and hyperbolic functions in a unified way. Complex analysis has applications to electrical engineering, quantum mechanics, signal processing, and control theory, as well as applications to other fields of mathematics including algebraic geometry, number theory, and topology. Measure theory. This topic generalizes the notions of measuring the size of sets, including geometrical, physical, or probabilistic sizes. These measures can be used to generalize integration using the Lebesgue integral. Measures also have applications to probability theory, integration, functional analysis, quantum physics, and more. Functional analysis. This is the study of the infinite dimensional vector spaces of functions, typically with a norm or inner product that induces a topology on the space. As such, this is an extension of both real analysis and linear algebra. This also provides a strong framework for solving differential and integral equations. Applications of functional analysis include numerical analysis, signal processing, financial mathematics, stochastic calculus, and quantum mechanics. Numerical analysis. This is the study of numerical methods of approximately solving differential and integral equations, as well as other problems containing continuous variables. It also includes the development and study of algorithms that solve such equations to understand their stability and convergence. Applications of numerical analysis include any branch of the natural, physical, or social sciences, computer science, engineering, medicine, or business where exact solutions of problems with continuous variables cannot be computed. In particular, this allows us to bring to bear the immense computational power of computers to solve problems when exact methods are not available or applicable. Non-standard analysis. This is a reformulation of single and multivariable calculus by building on a rigorous definition of infinitesimal numbers. It includes the use of the hyperreal line and replaces the need of epsilon delta approaches to calculus concepts. This provides a rigorous version of the more intuitive ideas that were the driving force behind Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz's development of calculus. Applications of non-standard analysis are the same as those for calculus, but it is used less often as it is not the traditional way that calculus is taught. However, proponents of this treatment of calculus argue that this approach is far more intuitive for students and helps them understand calculus concepts far better than the traditional approach. Ordinary Differential Equations Differential equations are equations involving the derivatives or instantaneous rates of changes of functions. The topic of Ordinary Differential Equations, or ODEs, focuses on the study of equations that involve the derivatives of functions with only a single independent variable. This includes finding solutions to such equations, proving the existence and uniqueness of such solutions, as well as studying the behavior of solutions and how they change with varying initial conditions. ODEs include important equations in science such as Newton's second law of motion, exponential growth and decay, Newton's law of cooling, the dependence of pressure with altitude, motion of a particle with or without drag, Hooke's law of simple harmonic motion, motion of a pendulum, the rate of chemical reactions, and more. Partial Differential Equations Partial Differential Equations, or PDEs, are differential equations that involve partial derivatives of functions that have more than one independent variable. 
Like ordinary differential equations, the study of this topic includes finding solutions to PDEs, proving existence and uniqueness of solutions, and studying the behavior of such solutions and how they change with varying initial conditions. A wider class of equations in science and engineering are partial differential equations. These include the wave equation, the heat equation, Maxwell's equations for electromagnetism, the Navier-Stokes equations for fluid dynamics, Schrodinger's equations in quantum mechanics, the Einstein field equations in general relativity, and so much more. Dynamical systems. This is the study of systems where a function describes how points in a space move with time. Such systems can be described using ordinary differential equations. Using numerical analysis and ergodic theory, this provides a framework to model such systems with time and space measured in a discretized way. Dynamical systems occur in physics, biology, chemistry, engineering, economics, medicine, and even history. Some dynamical systems may be chaotic, and hence this topic includes chaos theory. Dynamical systems are one of the primary ways that calculus is applied to real life. Chaos theory. This is the study of a class of differential equations that are highly sensitive to initial conditions. This means that the solutions change dramatically with just slight alterations to the initial conditions. Differential systems that exhibit chaotic behavior are deterministic, meaning that their initial conditions determine unique solutions, but this sensitivity to initial conditions give the solutions of the system the appearance of randomness. Chaos theory deals with analyzing the behavior of such systems and how to model chaotic systems. An important challenge of modeling real-life chaotic systems is that all measurements we can make are ultimately approximations of reality, which means that any initial conditions we put into a model will necessarily be different than the actual values of the initial conditions. The chaotic behavior of the system implies that any long-term prediction from the model will be very far off quicker than one would typically expect from modeling differential equations. Chaotic systems abound in nature, including in fluid flow, heartbeat irregularities, and weather. This is one of the main reasons that it is difficult to accurately predict weather out past a few days. That's part one of every type of math. This video covered every type of calculus or analysis. The next video, which you can find here, covers every type of algebra. And there will be at least five videos in this series, but if you think that I missed any types of math, let me know in the comments, and that might just show up in a future video. If you enjoyed this content, subscribe to Scholar Sauce and check out all our other content, such as this video here on math facts that sound fake but are actually true. And we'll see you next time on Scholar Sauce.